Hello everyone, welcome back again. We will see now today reduction formula number 4. In the last lecture we have studied reduction formula 1, 2, 3 and the example based on the reduction formulas 1, 2, 3. So today we will see reduction formula 4 as well as example based on reduction formula 4. So let's start with the reduction formula. So it is uh, basically integration of cot raise to nx dx is equals to minus cot raise to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 minus integration of cot raise to n minus 2x dx. So firstly we will prove this formula. Okay. So what we will do again in the same way we will take i n b equals to integration of cot raise to nx dx. Now I will break this cot raise to n as cot raise to n minus 2x into cot square x. So break this power n as n minus 2 and 2. Now in the second step instead of cot square you write the value in terms of cosec. So we will be using this formula. So cot square is basically cosec square x minus 1. So replace cot square by cosec square minus 1 dx. Next step you just open the bracket and then you separate the integration sign. So this gives me cot raise to n minus 2x cos x square x dx then minus integration cot raise to n minus 2x dx. Now on this side we have i n then this integration we will write as it is for a time being cos x square x dx minus we will write this integration in terms of its notation. So it is basically i n minus 2. So now to evaluate this integration we will be using method of substitution. So here what I will do is I will put t instead of cortex. So instead of cortex what we will be doing we will be putting the variable t. So since cortex is equals to t then you take derivative of both sides. So it gives me minus cos x square x dx is equals to dt. So let's use the substitution here. So this gives me i n is equals to now integration of instead of cot you put t. So it is t raised to n minus 2 and then instead of cos x square x dx we will be putting minus of dt since minus sign is there. So instead of this thing, we will be putting minus dt. So it is dt. I'll put the, I'll put the, pull this minus sign outside. So i n minus two. So let's evaluate this integration. It is minus integration of t raised to n minus two is nothing but t raised to n minus one upon n minus one minus i n minus two. Now we have evaluated this integration. We got this value and after this after we get this answer instead of t we will put back its value what is t basically it's cortex so let's put it value cortex raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 i n minus 2 so with this this is the end of the proof so this is basically my reduction formula number 4 now let's take one example based on this reduction formula number 4. So now let's evaluate integration of cot raise to 6x dx. Okay. So basically in terms of notation what we have to find is basically value of i6. Okay. So i6 is nothing but integration cot raise to 6x dx. Apply the formula. So here what do we have? Minus cot raise to n minus 1. So n here is 6. So 6 minus 1 is 5 x upon 5 minus i n minus 2. So n here is 6. So 6 minus 2 is 4. Now let's evaluate i4 again using the same reduction formula. Then it is nothing but minus cot 4 minus 1 is 3 upon 3 then minus i n minus 2. So n here is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Now let's evaluate i2. i2 is basically minus cot raised to n minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So cot x upon 1 minus i naught. So 
so i not here is basically what i not is integration cot raised to 0x dx so it is cot raised to 0 is basically 1 so it is simply integration of dx and that is equals to x now if you see we have got value of i not as x we will put this i not here we will get value for i2 then we will use this value of i2 here we will get value for i4 and then we will use value for i4 and then we will get finally value for i6 so basically we will be using back substitution method to get value for i6 so let's evaluate i6 now finally so i6 is equals to so here we have minus cot raised to 5x upon 5 then minus i4 so value of i4 is minus of this so minus minus will become plus here so it will be cot raised to 3x upon 3 then again here the sign is plus because this minus will become plus here so plus i2 so i2 value is this so let's put value of i2 i2 is minus cot x and then minus x i not value is x so we will put it here so this gives me value of i6 so i6 is integration of cot raise to 6x dx so similarly you can do the problem based on reduction formula 4 now in the next lecture we will be studying reduction formula 5 and reduction formula 6 so stay tuned for the more videos on reduction formulas see you all bye